Hello, I'm Max Balegde. And I am George Clark, otherwise known as Clarkey. Ooh. Otherwise known as that hunk that sits across from Max. Mm. TikTok wasn't working out for us, we decided to set up our own little business. We did indeed, and the useless hotline is a place I where we help. I didn't even say this is the useless hotline then. No, you didn't. But th- that's what it is. I get it, I think they get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, in case you don't get it, the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. Except, Unfortunately, this week it is. Mm-hmm. It is indeed. But it's also the New Year special. Woo! That's how uh, a little Sasquatch will walk in in a minute. Mm, okay. Um, are you feeling Happy New Yeary? Um. Yes. Oh, okay. I think. Um, <laughs> You're looking forward to the new year. 2023 held a lot. Oh. But I feel like 2024 could hold mm. a whole lot more, baby. It is interesting when you think. Like last year, we just started the podcast. We had no idea what was coming, and I had no idea how much I would loathe you by the end yeah. of the year. Mm. A little bit rude, that, Max. I intend to spend 2024 plotting your demise. Mm. I plan to spend 2024 looking at demise. Mm. They are quite pretty. Because they remind me that no matter how bad things get, it could be worse. Mm. Ooh, got them. Look at that eyebrow and say that again. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Anyway. Um, I've actually had compliments on my eyebrow. Saying like Why? it looks good. It doesn't. Who who? Who from? Just many, many women. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Um well yeah, twenty twenty three had a lot install. Um it did. but install? That didn't make sense. Anyway, what are you looking forward to in twenty twenty four? Any predictions for your new year, George? For me specifically or just for, for you what or will for occur? the maybe we make a psychic prediction for something that's gonna happen in the world. I think. Oh, let's let's come up with some things. So, something that you want from yourself. Okay. Something that. Oh, okay. Something you want yourself to achieve in 2023. Something you okay. want me to achieve in 2023. Okay. And, um, just a random prediction of events, and then we can look back at this next year. Okay. Right, at right, the right. end and see if it Let came me think. true. Just 2024. Off the top of- even just off the top of my head something i want myself to achieve world domination something that i want you to achieve your eyebrow domination of you um and then something that i want to happen between us is to meet physically beat you up that okay. was quite do, do, i do an, like that's, do an i can see one. that happening right okay let me do I wanna, I will, it'll be fun and enjoyable to look back on okay right something that i want to achieve for myself in 2024 is to be happy and Content. Boring. That I want it to boring. be measurable. Okay. Um, I don't know though. I want to. Maybe you want to hit a certain amount of followers. Maybe you no. want to have achieved presenting at a certain event. Yeah. Maybe you want I... to have attended a thing. Maybe like. I think I want to try. Um, I think I want to try. Heroin. Dabbly, dabbly... <laughs> <laughs> No, funnily enough, that wasn't on, um, that's not on the checklist. I think for 2024, I want to achieve, um, like, you know, hosting in a TV capacity. I want to, I've done, I've done a lot leading up to that. I've done a lot of radio. I've done a lot of like live things that have been broadcast out Mm. for social media. I've done like red carpets. I've done podcasts. I've done stuff like that. And then I think I just want to try that to see if I like it. To see if I, because I feel very content with where I'm at, but you know, I feel like I want to try that and see if see yeah. if I can get into that world as well. We'll have to see. I feel like that's a good goal to have. And what do you want from me? What do I want from Not you? What, uh, five, <laughs> look, I've given you too much uh, room for leeway there. What um, what is an what achievement do I want for like, you? Yeah, like if if you were answering the same question but for me. Oh, if, what I would so what I would want if I was you, or what I want personally for as in you. What you can. So sort of it's plausible that you would like okay, to achieve then. like me. I yeah. think I feel like yours is gonna got to be revolved around YouTube, hasn't it? What the fuck else is there? <laughs> um, <laughs> bigger beard. Uh, no, I feel like what are you on like subscriber wise now. 
293,546. Okay. Can I, I see if that's correct. If that is that, I'm got a severe if problem. That's, if that's correct, then you have... You're on the spectrum, definitely. 293,504. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I thought I was 43. Do you look at that every day? Uh, no, I've just uploaded yeah, it. Do. I uploaded a video yeah, two days do. ago, so I'm, I'm aware yeah, of... Yeah, you do. Tell me. But yeah, most days. <laughs> no, I, I'm aware of what I'm on just because I uploaded a video. Because you look at it ago. every day. Understood. Um, what I want for you, I mean, you... Let me think. You live with your friends. You're happy and mm -hmm. content there. I want you to be in a relationship... Oh, I wasn't thinking of that. No, I'm sure you weren't because you're not going to end up in one. Um, That's but rude. I want that for you. I want how, you to. How enjoyable will that be next year if I am in one and you called it, and it's that with be, you? That would be. <laughs> that would be <laughs> wild. Like I've said it once and I'll say it again. I don't know what sort of person you would be in a relationship. I think I'd be a good boyfriend. But I think that you're a I or think girlfriend. A, hey. Yeah, you never know. I might be a good girlfriend yeah. too. It's 2024. I think almost. you're a good person. I think that you would just struggle to factor somebody else into your life. Yeah. Like, I think you're a nice... I think you. I don't think you'd be horrible to someone. Sorry, that, think, is, that was always, like, the most backhanded conversation. I think, like, I think you're a nice person. <laughs> but... but <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think you would just struggle. Like, the way that you live your life, I cannot imagine you factoring somebody else into that. Do you, do you get what I mean by that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, then. And what was the last one? Uh, what something in the, the world, world, just a random prediction. I think, and I don't, oh, I don't want to say this out loud because I work. Don't uh, predict a death. Don't. I was going to predict a death. I'm not going to predict a death. Can we predict <laughs> both? Pre can we both predict a death? Oh, but I can't. The one that I'm predicting, <laughs> oh, I but can't. You, it's not one you don't want to. Is it? Is it one that will shock the world? Yeah. Oh. Oh no, not David Attenborough. I think he's going to stick around for at least three more years. I see it. I saw him in person. He could walk around and everything. Yeah. He was I mean, great. most people, well, a lot of people can before they pop the clothes. Yeah, but I just, I just feel like he's got a bit more left in him. That's a morbid one, also. If we that get it correct, morbid. then we'll get under investigation. Oh, oh my god, yeah. I think. Oh, okay. I have a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. I have a prediction that a big. Hmm. I think Molly May and Tommy Fury are going to break up in 2024 oh that's big i feel i feel it i feel why because have you not seen like all the stuff in the last year that he has like been caught doing in clubs like i feel like she is a nice girl who has a like to what what some people would call a dream lifestyle like you know she has at, like lots of income coming in she has a beautiful house she has a uh, like supportive family mm -hmm. she's created her own family but I feel like he has now got this level of like fame and he's hanging around with like these YouTube boxer people and shit that like want to go to the clubs in Dubai and want to yeah. do this. And I feel like that is so unaligned with what she wants for her life. And just from an outsider looking in. Bloody hell, you, you, well, I've seen you, loads of you videos said on you've it. you've plucked this from nowhere. No, suddenly loads, you've come out with a... Because recently a he, was, he was caught like... He was caught like getting his... This girl like grabbed his face and like pushed him off in a club like in Dubai or something. Yeah. And there's been multiple instances of that where well, I think hey, it's that... it's better to be pushed off than pulled off in a club. And yeah, I just think that that is the exact opposite of what she wants for her life and what she would want in a partner. And I feel like... After you've just had a child as well, it must be so difficult. <laughs> you have gone <laughs> so deep on this. Well, I've just seen clips of her, like, and she looks like she's having a tough time. So I, I predict that. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you predict? Um. Wait, what do you want for you for yourself? I mean, I'm gonna go YouTube based. Mm. I'm currently, as this goes out, I'd say around three hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. Because uh, I gained 200k this year. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. 750,000. Oh. I don't know if that's... That's probably overshooting a lot. I don't know. I don't know. That's, I don't that, know what like the norm is. That would be very much overshooting, I think. But, hey, it's what I want for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is why George will be single. And for you, Max... Yeah. You want to see my relationship end? <laughs> no. I... This is a rogue one. Oh. Okay. But I feel like you, and most notably, your nan would love this. 
I thought you were going to say my grandma was going to die. No. I was like, um, fucking hell. Okay. You, to in some way, either be on or, like, present the It Takes Two of Strictly. <gasps> I would love that. I would I reckon, love I, I that. Could, I could plausibly see you being a contestant oh, on Strictly. That's next a dream. Being a contestant on Strictly. I. Oh my god. I would love that. First of all, I feel like I would. I'd be terrible. Oh, putting it out there, I would be so bad off 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 the bat. Mm. But then I think I'd be the sort of person that would like really improve and be a bit of an underdog. And then like you know, I'd win over all the nans. I'd have like chats with all the nans. I'd be like, oh, I love your glittery cardigan. <laughs> And then I just have the best time of my life. Strictly just seems like the most beautiful place in the world. See, I feel I, it's not a place. But. I would like to say that that's a plausible. I love that. Do you know what? I'll take happen. that. And yeah, that would literally make my grandma's dreams come true. I think. Yeah. Oh, I'd love that. That would be a dream. Yeah. That's a dream. Oh, I like it. Okay. Um, and what then for a the random world? thing just to occur in the world. <laughs> that's not random. Yeah, that, that, that happened loads many times. <laughs> I'm going to go for Tom Holland to propose to Zendaya. Oh, okay. I do see that, you know. I do see that. As far as, like, movie star couples go, they've been very solid. Mm. Usually it's like they're filming a movie together and then they fall for each other and mm. then that ends and then the relationship ends and then that's that. But they're still together like years after filming but they're that also last both very much off social media just do their own Chilling, thing like, not I, about that like you know attention seeky lifestyle yeah. yeah either that or bebe <gasps> i don't see that i don't see that no she doesn't she's not bebe type yet she's not baby type yet they, they seem too young mm. for that and i feel like you know with stuff like that you have to think career move you know, they've got so much going on right now. Maybe give it five years when stuff maybe dies down and then they have the baby. Yeah. Not that it's going to die down. And then if, she becomes, and if she becomes Zendaya Holland, she just sounds like a place. <gasps> Zendaya Holland. That she sounds does. like a part of an address. She sounds like a, a destination. <laughs> I might go to Zendaya Holland. <laughs> that sounds quite fun, actually. I want to go to Zendaya Holland. <laughs> that sounds great. I think they're good predictions, you know. Hmm. I think that they're very positive. Right. I think that we should look back on 2023 together mm -hmm. and each say what our favorite moments were from that year okay well you say i think we, we've we both come up with a list yeah. of things that have happened in 2023 that we thought were notable right okay um, um I, as, I mean, uh, beforehand we're not we're, this is a positive zone of thought so we're not like bringing up like politics yeah yeah no we're going on like all our favorite bits right i just want to see how different our lists are so let's do one one at a time okay okay Firstly, for me, Rihanna performed at the Super Bowl. Are you going in t like no, timeline yeah, order or just... Kind of, just like whatever. Okay. Just like say them one after another and yeah. then we'll see how different they are. Jeremy Renner had a snowplow incident, accident, problem. He got ran over by a snowplow. Oh, okay. That um, was... I can't believe... You said you never we're heard not, of this. No, no, we're not doing this. But we're, we're going into the detail later. Okay, well, I'd like to say that wasn't a highlight of my year. That was just right, something I remember happening. And really I didn't, didn't realise that was this year. Right. Okay. Um, at the BAFTAs, when Angela Bassett did the thing. Did the thing. Cristiano Ronaldo joined Al Nasser. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, Taylor Swift started her Eras tour, improving the economy in every single city that she went in to the point where she won Time Magazine's Person of the Year award. The Dalai Lama apologized for the video where he asked a boy to suck his tongue. <laughs> have, you, have you seen that video? I can't say that I have. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, when Ariana Grande got with that guy who plays SpongeBob in SpongeBob the Musical. Wild. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I do remember that. that do you was remember a thing. that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Harry See? Kane overtook Rooney as England's all time top goal scorer. See, that means nothing to me. That, um, that is literally. All of those things have been described. That that is the thing that still. Don't how know can you what not understand means. what that means? I just don't care. Um, Olivia Rodrigo released her second debut album. But that not doesn't debut, make then, sense. Is it? Yeah, I said that wrong. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo released her second album, Guts, and she kind of announced that she had beef with Taylor Swift. Oh my god, I, that was mental. I'm still struggling to get over that one. Crazy. It was crazy. Lionel Messi, both won the World Cup mm -hmm. and wait he won that last year hey loser okay Lionel Messi beat Haaland for the Ballon d'Or I'm sorry but you are speaking Simlish 
beat Haaland for the Ballon d'Or. Ballon. Grow up. Um, Lewis Capaldi accidentally being called Sam Capaldi at the Brit Awards and then posting a picture of him photoshopped onto Sam Smith's latex outfit. That was high quality for me. Yeah, mm. that was a really big moment this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brendan Fraser being uh, given best actor for his role in Whale. What the fuck? That was big. That was huge. Like He had like a really emotional speech because he battled like not feeling like he was uh a, had a place in hollywood after all of his roles where he was cast for being like a young stud and then pe- then he got finally got recognition for being a great actor and it was like a really wholesome moment and everybody loves brendan fraser i've got tube girl slaying hard right um <laughs> fortnite came back did it ever leave well og fortnite came back that was a big moment. Kind of, not really. It rejuvenated everybody. I've never felt happiness like it, apart from when it was originally there. Um, we did a live show of our podcast and announced our tour, but George has never felt happiness since Fortnite came back, so that's great. Um, Sorry, have you seen your face when you saw Olivia Rodrigo announced she had beef? That was wild. Oh, oh, that was oh, mental. Oh, With Taylor Swift, can oh, we just... Uh, right, next one. Mr. Beast hit 200 million subscribers. That is crazy. You can like you, you can roll your eyes at that's mental. I mean, good for him. Think about how many followers you got on TikTok and multiply that by however many it becomes. I don't need it because I'm I'm not that sort of person. So 200 I don't million. About that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, good for him, Mr. Beast. Oh, as if he needs the thanks. Oh, good for you, Mr. Beast. Oh, he's one thank of the you, haters. Mr. Beast. On, you're one of the haters thank on Twitter, you, aren't you? Beast. Oh, Not thanks for building Twitter. Africa wells, Mr. Beast. Oh, did he, why be, you stay in your did own he build country? African wells? No, he built. He went to Africa and built like over a hundred wells. That's nice. And then had news articles being like. Well, now he's just he's just exposing African governments trying to say that they're not doing the job and they need the new YouTube to come out. It's like Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm not. Doing Get a that. grip. I thought we weren't getting political. Get a grip, mister. Anyway, back to important news. Stormzy and Maya Jama got back together. That was crazy. Crazy times. Prince Harry released the book Spare. Okay, I'll give you that. That's like kind of, you know, relevant. Kind of. That was big. Everyone, like, he was just yeah, releasing yeah. stuff that made him seem like, like... He said that he got a boner in the cold and had to put Elizabeth Arden cream on it to uh, cool him down. See, that was... I mean, to warm him that's up. That's big news. That was, I mean, it might be big. We don't know. It didn't say in the book. Um, the Beyonce went on tour and did her viral mute challenge. Do you know that? Look around, everybody. I'm mute. No. Okay. Brilliant. Snapshot, I got big. Was that not last year? This year. Was it this year? It was this year. I'm trying to forget it, to be honest with you. That's mental. That whole thing happened and got squashed this year. Yeah, he's just gone, hasn't he? They all have. I don't even see like Alphabet or anything anymore. So I mean, like a whole of like TikTok happened. Wait, I'm seeing when I posted my video on it. Last one for me. Yeah, ten months ago I posted my video on Snapchat. Wow. Last one for me. Nicki Minaj released Pink Friday too. That was a crazy year. I think that is absolutely everything that happened this year. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Now let's go into detail on them. Okay. So. Uh, when when I say Angela Bassett did the thing, how do you not know what this is? This is mental to me that this was the most like viral well, moment. It's Everyone mental to saw me it. that you think that I would know. That, why would when would that have cropped up in my life? It was so iconic. I can't even tell you. So there's this singer who was in what's she called? Angela Bassett. No, she wrote a song about all of the big women in like Hollywood. Let me find it. Big as in no. size? No. Big as um, in waist, belt width? Um, all right, okay. Ariana DeBose, who I believe was also in the Disney film Encanto, and she's done, like, loads of other shit. She's, like, really famous singer, famous everything, basically. Mm-hmm. She sang at the BAFTAs. Right. And she was doing this thing where she was trying to, like, you know, say that she like loves all of these women in Hollywood, like like praising all the women basically. And mm-hmm. she wrote this like rap, but right as she was performing it, she kind of ran out of breath and it became this really odd performance where she was very breathy, 
very all over the place. Right. And the women who she was calling out in the audience, it would go to them every time and they'd be like, what's going on? And it just kept going and okay. going and going. It was brilliant. I need to show it to you right now. Wait for it, wait for it. Jamie, you are all of us. You, you, you thought that was so viral. Everyone was like, Angela Bassett did the thing. Jamie you, Lee, you, you are would, all of us. When would that crop up for me? Why wouldn't it? Pop culture phenomenon. Angela Bassett did the thing. Shut up. I feel like you just don't understand what what like what who I am and like my for you. Well, page maybe and I'm not stuff. trying to. Uh, what? Well, football. Look see, what football I'm, happens see, today, everyone. Yeah, but hey, see, everyone, I'm very aware this that happened you in football today. Should we look at the ball? Look, the ball's gone into the net, everybody. Oh my god, a fight happened today. These YouTubers, they're gonna fight each other. They're gonna get their fists and go fight, 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 and then they're gonna square up before the match. And they're going to fight, and then they might kick football together, and then they're going to fight again. Oh, you all. Well, we can all do that. Look, woman went on stage, said words, but it was quite breathy. Oh, oh, That's and then instantly, Taylor, Taylor Swift did a tweet. That's oh, instantly way oh more my, entertaining. See? That is instantly, she didn't just do a tweet. She did a tour that improved the economy of a country. George, the the, dif the difference. She did a tour that improved the literal economy of every single city that she went in, and and the Wall Street Journal has reported that the entire U.S. leg of her era's tour could have a 5.7 billion billion dollar boost to the U.S. economy. What football is doing that? Okay, very fuck you, football. She won Times that Person is, of the Year that award. Is, that is. That is a good bit of news. Yeah, it you, is, yeah, it at, is. At no, at no point did you mention when you were listing your news. But yeah, what, I did. But what you did mention... Yeah, I did. What you did mention was... Angela Bassett did the thing. Because Angela Why Bassett did the thing. have you not seen that? Thing? That's pop culture, George. It is pop Why, culture. How have you not, have you it not understood? It is pop culture. Angela Bassett did the thing. I'm not... I'm not it's a very relevant moment in history. Nobody even gives a shit. Let's be honest. <gasps> the, 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 the Taylor Swift thing, I can understand. That is big news. And I'm not taking... I wasn't expecting you to understand the football stuff. Yeah, well, guess what? I never will. Guess what? Okay. News flash! But you can. Nobody cares. You can. I'll, I can explain it to you, and we can have a conversation like civilized adults. I'm trying. Like I was, I was trying to listen there. I need to calm what down. you were saying, and then you were getting very angry at okay, me. Okay. Okay. What I was about to say. So Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the best, if not the best, considered by many footballers of all time. That's incorrect. It's Lionel Messi. But he um, joined. I don't even know what that means. He joined Saudi Arabia, a, a league Country. at that point, which was ranked like. 150 or like, like really low in the world mm. okay and then ever since then other people have been joining there and it's just been it's just, it's a money hub of the world it's it football's gone to the gone to the gone to the shitter because of it effectively mm -hmm. but um it's that's just a, a a big event that happened it was quite cool so football's now not good because cristiano went to a well no team. it's now become more money hungry because players who are like Cristiano Ronaldo was towards the end of his career. Mm. There's big players that were that are like still like in their prime or even on their come up mm. who have gone out there and it's not a great standard of football. And they're so just they're basically selling themselves playing out. easy football because they get paid more but money. I'll put, I'll put it in this circumstance for you. So say say Taylor Swift's yeah. not got a big audience I'm with in you. Saudi Arabia. Say she goes off to Nigeria. Okay. Not not massive. Uh, not massive Taylor Swift fans. I imagine there's a few there. I imagine there's quite and, and, quite but, quite a lot actually. I and, but I, but I imagine there's not many venues that should be that would be the scale of what she's usually selling out. But she goes there because they're paying her more money and not because she wants to perform to the fans that are there that want to see her. Okay. So she goes over there, and then suddenly, people start going. I might go to the. I might start watching Nigerian. Yeah. Uh, so it's good for Nigeria. Stadium tours and stuff. So, but apart from the fact that in this scenario, Nigeria, one of the wealthy countries in the world, okay. 
and they are you only could have just said Saudi Arabia, you know? <laughs> yeah, this is, but, you could have just not said Nigeria, just okay, said Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, she's in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and yeah, the, the, the same thing applies, but just Saudi Arabia. So she's in Saudi Arabia. The crowds are not big because people in Saudi Arabia don't really care about Taylor Swift, but no, she's but they're, earning they're double very, the amount of money. Uh, say the, the singers currently in Saudi Arabia just aren't very worldwide they're not very well known okay. and then but she's got a residency she, in saudi arabia she's then decided to just upper sticks live in saudi arabia okay. only sort of perform in saudi arabia yes yeah mm -hmm. so now the whole world's eyes are on saudi arabia and other little singers are coming across maybe a little um so why i, I understand but why is this bad is this not good for saudi arabia well it's 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 good for Saudi Arabia, but, but why they, does that make it bad for everywhere else? Because it just means they're money hungry and they're pulling away from the performances elsewhere. Where the, it's, it's it, this is now where the the diet. This is where the uh, the analogy falls flat because okay. because just bring it back to football then. Okay, because it's, it's, it's a, because if singing was in a league system. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where the biggest leagues of the world is where the best singing takes place. Yeah, and then there's competitions where. So Taylor Swift all of them... is basically singing against like easy people. Yeah, she's just gone off to sing against the, say, say, say like Eurovision, right? Right. But if you're, uh, but, but it's obvious that Taylor Swift's going to win. Yeah, it, so it, it kind of brings the fun out of it. Yeah, so it's just like, well, why are you there? You, you're. There's kind of, it's kind of stupid. It kind of doesn't make sense. It kind of, it kind of ruins. This is such a hard analogy to it follow. It kind, up. it kind of ruins the validity of all of it the other the singing validity, competitions. It ruins the validity of Taylor Swift slightly because because it shows that Taylor Swift doesn't really care about competing against the best. She just wants the money. Exactly. So Ronaldo's a cunt. Is that what you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, because he's, there, he's he's towards the end of his career, so you can understand why he'd want to go out there. So he's but, a money hungry. Pig. But then, but before before doing so, this is where you'll be like, oh, that this this is like tea. I'm now interested. Oh, okay. He did an interview with Piers Morgan. This was last year, right? Um, and start and was like, so he was originally at Manchester United, the okay. in, big team in like one of the big te biggest teams. It's not the biggest team in the world. Right. Um, Manchester United is the biggest team in the world. Either that or Real Madrid is like the two considered. In terms of like world renowned, well known. How yeah. the fuck has Manchester? I've seen Manchester United Stadium as well. It's not even that. No, that's that's a whole different story. Um, what but is anyway, going so on? Uh, he basically was just sat on the bench getting forced out of the team by the manager, then went on Piers Morgan's uh, uncensored, started chatting like chatting shit and like doing like low blows and like digs and then was sort of effectively like i'm gonna go and play for a, to sh to prove that i'm still at the top of my ability because mm. he was like oh, i'm still like in my prime mm. i'm gonna play for one of the biggest teams in the world playing a big thing with so there's a the biggest teams in europe playing i think with the champions league okay so now that the Not best the euros like the biggest best teams ever so say each each country has like a singing competition then all the best singers perform against each other in this Cause really big competition because yeah okay. so uh what's the premier league then i thought that was good yeah that's that's the english league oh so that's like the best english one yeah but the champions league is the worldwide one so no that's not worldwide that's it's the but all of the best teams are in europe is effectively what so what, what, are, what the fuck is the euros then the euros is countries we're talking about clubs I'm having the worst time. So, anyway, so he... So he fuck is the World so, Cup? So, so oh. he basically just claims that he's going to be playing for, like... But he lied. No, he didn't lie. Well, he... He, he said, said he was going to play for the but best he didn't. One. he didn't know at that time. He was just sort of... He was just he was, saying, I'm going to do yeah, this because like, I can. I'm gonna, yeah, and, just to prove that I'm still worthy. Yeah, and but no... Even no team wanted him or he went for the money. He says he, he saw that the Saudi league was going to be this big thing, but at that time it was. But he's like, lying. He just, he just that's, got off that's the big whole, load of money. Yeah, that's the whole, like, team. Didn't a like, similar thing of... happen to Newcastle? Um, why is that? How when I lived I in When I this? lived in Newcastle, everyone said that oh, they Newcastle got, had just they got been a new bought Saudi by, owner. like, Saudi yeah. Arabia and that they were going to become the best club in the world. Yeah, they've... Uh, but did that not happen then? No, they're, 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 they've improved massively since then, but they haven't so actually... So what the fuck is the point in football? So well, football I mean. basically it's, is just... That's why, uh, that's why so it's like this, it's this sport that is like everybody trains and it's supposed to be like everyone's seen as equal, but realistically, whoever has the most money wins. 
Uh, is that just like what that means? That's then? what the that's where the like because the, the fact that Manchester United is deemed to be the one of the best teams in the world makes no sense to me because I've seen the most rotten people in the world that live in Manchester. Yeah, i.e. myself. Their 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 money and stuff comes from their success because they went on runs of winning Premier League after Premier League after Premier League. But with getting, people from Manchester, uh, a lot of them were homegrown. Yeah, like so, oh. like a lot of them were English. Like came through the academy and stuff. Uh, who? Anybody that I know? David Beckham. Oh, he's from Manchester. He's not from Manchester, but he, um, well, that, that he was scouted. Everything. But he's but he's English. He's he's scouted and came through. So the, football is like bullshit. A... So so what? what this is play? such an in depth conversation. Wait, so that like I didn't you can play for like Leeds, and the team can be built of people that have never been to Leeds in their life. Never oh, from at one Leeds. point, uh, there's a team called Wolverhampton Wanderers, mm. and like ninety percent of their team was Portuguese. <laughs> What the fuck? That makes no sense. <laughs> they're, they're that just, just actually makes no sense. Well, yeah, I think I'm not sure if it's true anymore. I, I'm not knowledgeable enough, but I think there was a quota you had to meet to have a certain amount of English players in your squad. Right. Okay. To or be like in the, a to be in the Premier Portuguese League, these players to be representing Portugal. For, you have to be. Everyone has to be Portuguese to oh, represent fucking Portugal. Get it. Right. Anyway, let's move on. So I feel like we established dead. something there. I don't know what it was, but I feel like I kind of understand a little bit more. Oh. Anyway, Rihanna performed at the Super Bowl. Explain See, in football terms. I'm talking about sport now. <laughs> Rihanna performed, and bear in mind, Rihanna has not performed or sang or released music for upwards of, I think, like six or seven years, which is crazy because when you think of Rihanna, what do you think of? Um... Don't say so much stupid, Jesus Christ. You think of a song, don't you? Maybe. Yeah. Rihanna is a singer. Well, guess what? No, she's not. She's a billionaire. She's a business mogul. She started a makeup company that then became her focus because she was earning way more money from makeup nice. than she was from music. Good for her. However, the the Rihanna stands of the universe yeah. want to hear Queen Riri yeah. give us some vocal talent, some melodies of sorts. Mm -hmm. And we were starved for so many years until she performed at the Super Bowl. First time she's performed in years. And not only did she perform at the Super Bowl, yeah. she was pregnant while she performed at the Super oh, Bowl. Damn. Heavily pregnant. Right. Mental so scenes. Roll her in. They did she wasn't that pregnant. Okay. Oh. She had like big belly, still dancing, still vibing, nice. doing a full performance. Lifted like up off the air. Crazy. Craziness. Mental. So incredible. Incredible. That's crazy. Right, what's your next one? Um what what else happened? What what did we like? Well, I've got I'll, a list I'll, of them. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll think which one I want to talk about. Um Mr. Beast. Doing what? Doing the, Gee, it's been doing a big the African Wells. It's been a big year for Beastie. He's what's what's the Squid Game video this year? Might have been because that video was ridiculous. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go down go to his channel and you'll. Have you ever watched a Mr. Beast video? I've watched them on TikTok where they like break it up into parts, and I yeah. I watched one where people had to stay in like a circle or something, mm -hmm. and then they like win, and it's really nice at the end because people win lots of money and then you're like oh that's really kind and i did i saw one where like he hid in a th in i want to say a stadium or something they did like hide and seek oh uh, yeah i know that I'm one not too sure so this yeah. year he's uploaded 20 videos all of which have had at least 133 million views wow 119 million views sorry. how many people live in the uk 67 million as of in, 2021 why is it showing me 2021 so that is six, yeah six about 67 million it says so that is like two and a half uk's all mm. just watching him. every single video that is crazy but isn't it true that he like doesn't make a lot of money from his videos i mean he obviously does because he's giving out money all the time so he does make a he's lot got of a money. team of like 200 people now he's, he's got a whole warehouse that he does things in each one of his videos has like a stupid set what do you think his life goals are what do you God think knows. he? Do you th what do you think when? What, like what we just did. What do you think he's gonna sit there and go? Do you know what I want to do this in twenty twenty? I reckon it'll be he wants to be first YouTuber to hit a billion subscribers. A billion. Jesus Christ. Some two hundred eighteen million at the moment. God, a billion is a lot, isn't it? I mean, if he carries <laughs> on, he's you can do it, can't, surely. Yeah, but it, it, he's oh, it's just obscene. The thing is, but he's like, just. 
one. So I was for example, he makes videos. There's like these one dollar versus one like so. Oh yeah, like the hotels. Yeah, like one one dollar yes, versus I've like ten million that. dollar job or something. I've so he's, that. he signed for a uh, American football team, like legally signed for one of them, and then just walked out and like said that he paid like played for them, and then it oh, was down okay. as like a ten million. There he did one with uh, like yachts. And what's his name? Pete Davidson was in it, just randomly. Oh, really? Just as like a cameo was just in it weirdly. Justin Timberlake Iconic was one of, moment. one of his ones. Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian broke up. And then he started getting with uh, like other attractive women, right? Well, who's Pete what's Davidson Pete Dav- always does. He used to date, he was engaged to Ariana Grande. That, that's, this is a thing we need to talk about. Pete Davidson dating history. Pete Davidson literally looks a bit like a crackhead. In like a it's nice, not, attractive way. Yeah, it's called a spade a spade, not a bit. <laughs> in like an attractive way. I can't explain it. He looks a bit dirty. He looks uh, like... <laughs> he looks like I can imagine him eating what's it's in bed and not caring if he got crumbs a little bit everywhere. That's how I <laughs> imagine Pete Davidson. And he has used them what's it fingers and put them all over Kim Kardashian, all over Ariana Grande. Mental. His current one, or was briefly linked to at least, Emily Ratajkowski. Get fucked. What the? So I Kim even Ka- know who she is. Kim Kardashian, Emily Ratajkowski, uh, Ariana Grande. He was engaged to Ariana Grande. What in the world? He was messaging. He was fathering Kanye West's Madeline children. Madeline Klein. I don't know who that is, but she's very beautiful. What the hell is in Pete Davidson's riz? I think he, I think he has got. <laughs> What's he spiked his riz with? I think he's got a monster cock. I think people... Pete David Schlong. People people who are like tall and lanky. Also, you have to remember... David's he's Goliath. Funny. He's funny. <laughs> also, a lot of the women that he gets with, they are probably at a point where they can have any attractive man. They've probably had every attractive man, like slide yeah. into their DMs, do everything. They then get faced with the fact that a lot of people that make it, like, be successful based off being attractive aren't very smart, don't have a lot going on up there. So when you mix that he has this kind of, you know, this mystique about him, like he looks a bit un- unkept, a bit unwashed. <laughs> he wears very expensive, but, you know, torn looking clothing. And he's, mm. he's, he's mildly attractive to most people, some very attractive, and he's funny. He can hold a conversation. He, he uh, you know, has a lot going for him up there. That gets people wet. Oh, oh no, I wish yikes. I didn't say that. I wish I didn't say that. It's That's true, though. Just... You can, do you know what? Hey. They say you can laugh someone into bed. Peter, good job, my guy. That's, that's good going. He's, he has, he's had sex with Kim Kardashian, one of the most unattainable women in the world. That is crazy. And Ariana Grande. Wild. That man's living every boy's dream. I mean, not mine, personally. Most I'd, boys' I'd dreams. I'd like to hang out with Kim Kardashian and Ariana Grande. I did meet Ariana Grande this He'd year. He'd like to hang out I with like, them. He'd like I to like. hang out of them. Oh, Disgusting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like... I didn't like that. Um, anyway, moving on. What was my next one? Um, right, it's time. It's time. <clears throat> the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. Don't roll nice. your eyes. My one was... No! Um, <clears throat> Stop! The Dalai Lama no, apologizing no, no, for no, the video no, and asking a boy no, to suck his no, tongue. No, 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 no. We need to talk about the Taylor Swift era's tour. Okay. Yeah. Firstly, Taylor Swift has released something like eight albums. She right. had eight eras, maybe seven. I don't know. Okay. She releases a tour that gets into her fan base that have been around through all different ones of her eras. Are you yawning? Did you just swallow a yawn? <laughs> Did you just swallow a yawn? I just saw you. Camera. I hope that the camera. I just yeah. saw him swallow a fucking I... yawn whilst I'm talking about the Taylor Swift Eras tour. I, I saw you. I disguised it though. I, I saw you. You didn't I, disguise it. I didn't it. want to be rude. You were rude. I, I, I feel rooted. <laughs> I feel like I've been rooted on. I, that was I, rude. I, I was just. It's just been a long day. I don't give a flying boop. That was. Inc- <laughs> Pay attention. Okay. Think about it. Mm-hmm. Taylor Swift's eras are so dynamically different yeah, they are. that she has had a different audience at each stage of her career. Picture all of these different types of people being able to go to one concert and enjoy it to the fullest. Not only that, 
but they kind of also delve into an era that they maybe wouldn't have before. Mm. Magical, brilliant, brilliant business plan. Not only that, every single place where she has been on her era's tour has dr- oh god has dramatically improved the economy of that location. Yeah. Restaurants, hotel restaurants, stays, <laughs> car rentals. Is it just exclusively Jamaican restaurants? No. <laughs> restaurants. Car restaurants. What? God, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Petrol stations, it. car restaurants. To the point where the Washington something, I can't remember what it was that I said before, the Summit <laughs> Journal, the Wall Street Journal estimates that by the end of the year, Taylor Swift would have made a $5.7 billion increase on the US economy. Are you yawning again? No. Did you just yawn again? I, was, I swear to God, you just yawned again. I, was, I swear to God. I was not yawning at you. I was just yawning because I'm tired. It was a really interesting story. It actually is. Do you know what? One it was interesting the first time you told it this episode and the, and the second time. One now. day I'm going to get Taylor Swift on this podcast and me and you, me and, me and you, Taylor, because you're watching are going to punch George square in the jaw. I'll go for the throat, you go for the eye, okay? I'm not taking it anymore. That's all I've got to say. That's impressive. Magical. Magical. Okay, just put it out there. What? What's next on your list? Go on. The Dalai Lama apologising for the video where he asked a boy to suck his tongue. Oh my god, breaking news. Who hasn't asked a young boy to suck their tongue and record? I'm joking. I'm oh joking. My god. <laughs> but that's hey, pretty what? mental. Have you not seen the video? No. Wait, the Dalai Lama asked a boy to suck his tongue. <laughs> yeah. And recorded it. It was just being recorded. It was like in a public setting. I don't believe this. Yeah, if I, I search it, will I get like... Yeah. Is this real? Yeah. Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama asks little boy to suck my tongue. Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, he just gave him a kiss. That's a bit weird, but I've not seen tongue sucking yet. Oh, why is he looking at this boy? Oh. Oh my god. What? Uh. I don't want to see it again. Is this real? Yeah. Wait. Why did he do what? Why did nobody go? Why are people like <laughs> No, that's dirty perv man. Suck on my tongue. Yeah. Freak of the week, freak of the year. He's apologised for it, though, so it's all right. What, did, what on earth did he say? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Well, you certainly did. I bet you had a raging boner underneath that happened. clock. He's sorry it happened. He's sorry he got caught. Yeah. What an odd thing to do. I can't imagine a circumstance where it would be funny to ask a child to suck my tongue. Um, If you're in George, a... George, don't sh- answer this. If you're in a shoe shop and your shoes are particularly dirty... And you go, hey, suck on the tongue. And then they suck the tongue of the shoe and they get the dirt in their mouth. And you go, ha, 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 ha. it was a dirty tongue. I hated that. I don't know what that... That was a scenario in which it would be okay. Okay, right. My next one is... I can't believe that happened. Ariana Grande got with the guy who plays SpongeBob in SpongeBob the Musical. Pete Davidson. Not Pete Davidson, oh. no. Have you seen what he looks like? Yeah. Very odd. Also, he had a long-standing wife and children. Oh, she could, they can sit down now. Oh, my God. They'd been together since high school. Yeah. High school sweethearts. He's in the musical theatre world. He gets this amazing role in Wicked, the musical movie that was role. being made. It was a Wicked role. Um, Ariana Grande is playing Glinda in the movie Linda and they spend a lot of time together to the point where Ariana Grande goes for dinners with him and his wife meets the children and everything oh yeah cut to a few months into filming he leaves his wife out of nowhere there have never been any issues she's got like young children she's so confused literally a day later or something like that it comes out that he's spotted with Ariana Grande what the hell is going on here get on the man Wild. Respect to that man. 
I mean, Ariana Grande is insane. I also met Ariana Grande this year. Just putting that out there. Um, yeah. That was crazy. And, and you I saw. didn't overreact or make I didn't it overreact. I, I didn't make an idiot out of myself. I did ask her for a hand in marriage, but I thought, do you know what? I'll yeah. just I'll just leave that there. She didn't respond, and I thought, fair enough. Um, but yeah, wild times. Wild times. I feel like that is a very important important moment. You just tried to. You just <laughs> fucking held back a yawn again, didn't you? You just held back a fucking yawn. Do you, go on with your list and then you'll be more entertained. Do you know what? Go back to your list. I didn't yawn. You prick. Um, on, what's next? Let's see how riveting this is. I don't know if there's anything yawn. I can really want. I mean, the whole... Like, everybody yawn. being like a um, TikTok liver just occurred this year. Yeah, like TikTok live kind of reality series. Yeah, kind of birthed just itself. Everything just occurred, and it we was had Alpha Bow, we had Chelsea Liar, we had Paul Breach, we had. Um, did you see he addressed all the allegations against him the other day? Paul Breach did. Yeah. No. So what did he's he? clearly what? his views have dropped because he would never have done yeah, that. Yeah, no. Day. Not my Paul Breach. He lit- um, I feel like literally nobody cares about him anymore at all. It's completely disappeared. Yeah. Which is wild because See, for a series... I never really, despite what the amount of videos that were made yeah. that I appeared in... You could not say I, that you didn't I, care. I, I genuinely didn't. But like when, when... I feel like you and your group were like spearheading the movement. No, but when people were like, oh, we're reacting to like Snapshot Eye again, I'd literally be like, okay. Oh, yeah, I get you. Like, well, he's like, not that there's, entertaining. There's only, there's only so much seeing some... Theo Baker look like yeah. dancing around in his room where you can go Ugh, like, like there's, there's only so much you react to it do you remember when I ended up with Snapchat Eye's number yes oh you can tell this whole story oh my god yeah tell this is this such a sure weird thing can. that you happened you can though because you, you, yeah, you don't I definitely really can. I yeah. don't give a shit but how did this happen I got contacted by somebody who knew Snapchat Eye's manager and then they gave me their number and I was like, oh, lol, like I'll just message them on WhatsApp. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Message them. It literally looked like a 12 year old girl, didn't it? Do you remember? We looked at mm. her picture and we were like, what the hell? Messaged her and I was like, hey, like I'm a, I'm like a, a social media personality. I have a podcast. I do this, that. And I'd love to work with Snapchat Eye. Like just thinking, oh, lol, it's yeah. obviously not going to be his manager, whatever. This is hilarious. She replies like, hey, like, um, what sort of things were you thinking? Blah, blah, blah. This was prime snapshot. And this I was about, like, like in the depths of when he was like, any, any when clip a new that case was said about him. Each week, you know, when, yeah. when he was really, d- really the doing the damn thing. He was really the grinding doing the thing. Grinding other wrong people, unfortunately. Yes. Um, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. And I then <clears throat> ended up basically lying to her and saying <laughs> that I was going <laughs> to, just compulsively lying to her, saying that I was going to do this whole like, sit down talk series with him where I'd show the true side of Snapshot Eye. And I ended up in a group chat with him and her. Should we try and find it and see what the messages were? We were saying that you could literally have, like this This was when videos on him were doing millions of views, like, mm. and they were just reacting to it. Like mm. <laughs> you could, we were like scripting Max to pr- produce this whole sort of documentary style <laughs> thing. We were literally where, gonna do it. Yeah. We were gonna like <laughs> scam him into coming and then just make fun of him, but without him knowing kind of. But not even like make, like just sort of coax answers out of him that would answer questions yeah. that have been asked and then you were gonna speak to the one that you look you look like and get oh my god what was she people. called baby mama yeah you were gonna get her to <laughs> sort of be like oh can you ask him a question about this or mm. like whatever and ask but the questions do <laughs> so brilliant we were gonna basically piece this video together that would just be a huge video making fun of paul breach but have him in on it thinking that it's going to be like a groundbreaking piece that shows him as a nice yeah, person I, I, i'd say more outing as opposed yeah. to making fun of yeah, it just yeah. sounds like we'd be doing, mm. yeah no 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 fully out it right this is this is the the the, the title of the um Group chat is called Paul slash Max Collab. That sounds like a demonic OnlyFans collab that I never want to happen. Anyway, Paul Breach's manager wrote, Hello, this is where we can communicate regarding the collab. Instantly, off the bat, shows that this is like a 16-year-old that has no idea what they're talking about. Let's communicate regarding the collab. What an odd thing to say. Anyway, I said, Hey, Paul, hope you're well. <laughs> I was just explaining that I've been out of the country a lot and will be for the next few weeks with work. I need to flex. I don't know what the fuck. I was I was deaf or lying. I probably was just thinking like, oh God, this is really weird. I don't actually want to be in the same room as Paul Breach. Um, but we'll be keen to collab when I'm back. Ugh. Oh Paul Breach's manager says, and your idea is that you would do a day in the life of Paul? My name is 
bleep, by the way, not sure if I mentioned that. I said, yes, bleep, a day in the life and a sit down interview with Paul addressing how he is shot to fame and what that's like for him. Then Paul Breach replies, hello, Max. I'm very good. Thank you for asking. I hope that you are also doing really well. Yes, I'm up for what you suggest with a fruit with a few provisos, if that's okay. Classic pool eyes. Oh, I hope you have safe travels and work goes well for you, matey. Full stop. Did it end it with the bubs? No, it oh. was just that. Um, I said yes, of course. After we film, I'll send the content over to you for approval. Absolutely, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Literally, couldn't have been further from the truth. Um, that was the only message that I saw. Oh, his manager said there will be some topics that Paul won't want to ask questions on. What um, which ones those were? I'll let him tell you those. And then I said that's all good, no worries. And then never heard anything. Oh. But apparently, I'm the admin. Wait, on the twenty second of August, which is months later i got made the admin of that group chat i don't know what that means they just upgraded you yeah they just upgraded me either way so what a weird time in life that you've, was you've got big pool's number right okay olivia rodrigo released her second album guts and kind of sort of announced that she has a little bit of beef with taylor swift which i now don't really think that she has that much but i feel like the fans made it more than it is and i feel like you know people don't have to agree on everything and they can just live their separate lives and that's is fine is this the thing that you explained to me and i just immediately debunked it and you went oh yeah that's probably true yes well kind of so yeah she released her second album and during all of like the promo for her first album taylor swift was supporting her so much and it was mm. all great and she'd released that drunk uh, that song Driver's License <laughs> yeah yeah you know that one mm -hmm. I got my driver's license last week and Taylor Swift was like oh my god you're amazing you're a visionary you're amazing Olivia was like I'm the biggest Taylor Swift fan this is amazing oh my god you know how I am whatever mm -hmm. then they're like working together they're like having a great time um, and then Olivia Rodri Rodrigo releases her an entire album her yep. first album and one of her songs to Taylor Swift sounded a little bit too similar to one of her songs and basically, Taylor Swift, I believe, allegedly, I'm not entirely sure, like, threatened her, or, or in a roundabout way, like, got s somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody to basically be like, this is not okay. Along, somewhat along those lines. Aye. Then, cut to, Taylor Swift releases, like, a new album. Olivia Rodrigo is radio silent, despite in the fact she would have been posting about this, doing everything. Are you yawning again? I swear to fucking God, <laughs> if you yawn again in my face, I swear to God. I swear to actual God. I will literally knock your teeth out, knock your new Invisalign teeth out. Watch me, I'm from Darwin, all right? Nice, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, <sighs> basically, cut to, they're not friends. Or they don't publicly speak about each other anymore and people don't really understand why, um, but that is the hypothesis. And I think, do you know what? Sometimes people don't have to always get along. And sometimes when you meet people in person, it's not the same as what you it, see on the internet, i.e. when I met George. They can appreciate each other's talent and not, uh, and yeah. not be the like, best mates. Mm. If you met somebody and you were like a huge fan of their art, like like one of your favourite performers, singers, whatever, and they were a bit of a dick, would you stop supporting them? Yeah. <laughs> Fez. I think it would ruin it, wouldn't it? Yeah. If I found out they're an absolute cock, I'd mm. be like... Oh, well, well, what if you, found, I, I, if you find out they're a cock, it's different to them actually being a cock to you. Like, there's so many rappers out there that are objectively bad people, but people still listen to them. What was that one that had that festival? That guy who had... Travis Scott, literally people died because of this festival that he put mm. on. And like, that is an objectively bad thing that we should have all, like you know, made sure he didn't work again, whatever. But people still loving him. They're like, oh, but his music's so good, man, whatever. Yeah. Whereas if it was, was their a... cousin that died, I'm sure they wouldn't be feeling that way. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think. I mean, I can't. I don't even know the ins and outs of that event, so I can't really comment. Yeah. But. Yeah. I mean, that was great. Thanks, George. That was brilliant. Might you move on to yours? <laughs> well, I mean, I, 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 you'll keep. I, I, there's not one. There's ones in there that I can't. I don't really. Bo not really bothered about explaining. Okay. Fair enough. Right, on to the next one, please. What? No, I'm just saying go on to the next one. On to the next one. I never, I'm sort of out of ones that I can... I really? really have, we, have, we, have we gone through them all I'm bothered to explain. Oh, okay then. We've got, I've got loads more. But some of them are just facts. What, what, I just thought start? they were your favourite moments from the year. 
there were just moments from the year that I remembered being like somewhat big. Oh well, it reveal another. Or I can just go through the rest of my list if you prefer that. Mm. Oh please do. Right, okay. Next one, Tube Girl Slayed Hard. Yeah. Do you did you know Tube Girl? I met you. We both met Tube Girl. Yeah. Like yeah, two days ago. Yeah, she's got a name. Yes, Sabrina. She was very lovely. I liked her a lot. Um, and Tube Girl was a phenomenon. Yeah. What a time to be alive. I mean, it that was one that I considered to have gone properly viral. Yeah. Like every, I feel like that hit everything. Yeah. yeah. You can understand why I would have seen that one, but not the... Angela I, Bassett did the thing. I did, see, I'd completely forgotten what it even was. See, t- Stop talking. Like, like why would that be me. translate into any like? Because I'd say that Angela Bassett did the thing was UK viral and a little bit of an American viral, whereas Tube Girl was globally viral. Yeah, Tube Girl is literally just ev- everyone can understand why that is like. Well, Tube Girl um, transcends language. Exactly, because it was a whole sort of like, how the hell has she got the confidence to do this? Yeah. Whereas Angela Bassett did the thing is just a quote from some random woman. That also took a lot. A random woman. What was her name? I can't remember. A- A- Andriana DeBose. Adriana DeBose. I can't remember. I-, I love her work, but I can't remember her name. Anyway. Oh, there you go. That just Tube Girl it. slayed. Every single artist in the world grabbed hold of Tube Girl and said, I want to Tube Girl it up. Help Teach me how to. Mm. And then it's interesting seeing how the brands and everything, like attach themselves to stomach like that so quickly like i think it helps that she's very beautiful and like she instantly then got to work with a lot of like you know the makeup brands and stuff like that right. uh, we should get her on the podcast actually to talk about like everything yes i feel like that was that was a wild ride she messaged me today actually sabrina we'll hit you up baby come on come on bassoon yay we um because i feel like it would be so interesting i very i like kind of briefly spoke about it with her and like yeah you know how it was going through it but i feel like she's still going through it so she doesn't really know like when i was saying to her like how have you found everything she was like it's still happening i don't know she was like i was just in america with kelly clarkson like what the fuck is going on so well i was just in austria with the krampus so yeah (laughs) who's winning (laughs) um that was wild um tube girl absolutely slayed stormzy and maya jama got back together that is crazy we love that. Okay. I met Maya Jamma as well this year. Nice. Not to say that I'm responsible for them getting back together, but I'm not not saying that. Because I said to Maya Jamma when she walked past me, I said, you are one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. And she said, thank you. And in her head, she might have thought, oh my God, is this what men are like out in the world right now? This like weird chubby person just like awkwardly complimented me in front of everyone. I need to go back to my ex that could have gone through her mind in that mm, moment. It's a stretch. Are you saying that my skin is stretched because I've gained weight? Well, no, but the stretch marks are saying that. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, if you're out there, Maya Gemma, I love you lots. And um, congratulations. I feel like I'm very happy for your relationship. Um, do you know, oh, you won't know it. And it's the gonna Muffin piss me Man? Off. No. The Muffin Man. I want to watch Shrek tonight. Well, I watch Shrek. he's married to the Muffin Man. That's a really good impression. A bit weird. And you do actually. come on then. Now you need to do the Muffin Man. No, the Muffin Man. The oh. Muffin Man. Oh. The Muffin Man. I don't know what you want me to do. You were meant to be doing Lord, Lord Farquaad. Farquaad. Yeah. The Muffin Man. That's not the good, Muffin Man. He lives on Jury. I keep doing it. Wrong. He lives on Jury Lane. Yes, yeah. I can't do it. Beyonce went on tour. The Renaissance tour. It was the Renaissance. She had her viral mute challenge. Have mm. you heard the saying, look around everybody, I'm mute? No, as you asked me earlier. Uh, am I, is this deja vu or something going on? I just on? can't believe the... how ill-informed you are on the world. I can't. <clears throat> look around everybody, I'm mute. Not seen that, no. It's a line in Beyonce's song. Yeah, I imagined it was. I don't think she just sings every sentence of her life. And when she says it, towards the start of the tour, she would say, look around, everybody, I'm mute. And then everyone would go, look around, it's me and my crew, big energy, because that's the song lyrics that follow. Yeah, I but she that would, would freeze. It. And everyone was like, why is she freezing? That's interesting. And then as the shows went on, people started to clock on that she was wanting them to go mute. 
So then as the, like, uh, tours would go on, some shows would be like, right, everybody, everybody, when she says mute, we all have to be quiet. And it became a competition mm-hmm. who, which stadium could be completely silent when she said that. Seems and would, like she's just looked at 2015 and wanted to fraud the mannequin challenge. Um, first of all, how dare you? Beyonce would never fraud anything. Seems Second like that's of all, exactly what she's tried to do. Absolutely not. Because they're just being silent. They're not freezing. They're being silent. Everybody on moot. It's even worse then. No, it's not a full stadium of people going from dancing, cheering to suddenly mute. You should Mental. have seen some of those people doing the doing the mannequin challenge. There was a, there was a big rooms of people. Did you ever do the Harlem Shake? Yes, I did actually, and I found an old video of me doing it on Facebook in the school bathroom. If you found it when you were in the school bathroom? No, I did it in the school bathroom with my friends. <laughs> Whoa! What? You just retract what you just said, my guy. What did I say? I did it in the school bathroom with my friends. I did. I oh, you're, being me- you're making it weird. You were making it weird. I didn't make nothing weird. I did the Harlem Shake. Well, that was the only thing shaking about. I love the Harlem Shake. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good time, wasn't it? Oh, I that love was like I the first it. like that trend. Was like the first TikTok dance. Mm, it was. Hmm. Anyway, look around, everybody. On mute. Look around. It's me and my crew. Big energy. You did it. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Go. That was that was a lot. Um, that was difficult. That was. Last one. Nicki Minaj released Pink Friday 2. Now, Nicki Minaj released Pink Friday years ago, one of arguably her best albums. It has amazing songs, uh, songs such as like Starships on it. Meant to Fly. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. It was very like poppy. And mm-hmm. then she announced that she was releasing Pink Friday 2. Yeah. Bear in mind, Nicki Minaj over the last like decade has really kind of gotten away from it old. Like, like when I think of my dream Nicki Minaj, it's when she has like, a pink wig on and she goes like oi, 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 oi. that sort of thing she's a call of duty skin now yes yeah, she is and that is hilarious that is absolutely hilarious watching like <laughs> Nicki minaj snipe someone three skips 360 no scope and then what's it called stab what's that bayonet bayonet yeah. all that shit love it what an I- iconic moment what an iconic what moment. an iconic moment um, but yeah, so good. And Nicki Minaj just, she was, she was pop perfection back then to me. Yeah. She would occasionally slip into a British accent. Take your medication, Roman. Take a short vacation, Roman. You'll be okay. So good. Okay. So when people heard Pink Friday 2, they thought, oh my God, she's coming back. She's going to go back into that. Yeah. She released the album. I'm going to say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. Not that, okay. but close. I don't care for this album. Ooh. I really don't. I think, do you know what? It's all right. It's good. It's like she's, she's there's too many samples. The first song on the album is a well, Billie Eilish song. Me walking around Waitrose in, uh, I don't know if I said Waitrose, but that's- Yeah, we, know, we all know why you said Waitrose, all right. You posh fuck. I was trying to think of a place that would have a lot of samples, right? Mm. Waitrose seems like the Costco. option. Costco. Costco, everyone. I've never when been to, Cos- never been to Costco. Ever- I'm a Tory. <laughs> and have you ever been? When have you ever been to Waitrose and they have samples? All the time. I've, to be fair, I, I don't ever go to Waitrose. So <laughs> fair enough. Um, but yeah, that that is that's it for me. Like, yeah, I'm I'm not too keen on the album. I think it has too many samples. I think it's okay. She needs more. Oh, 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 oh. What's your name, BLB? So they calling you Bob? If you were. A butterfly. I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. Uh, if if you weren't a homosexual man, mm-hmm. what do you think your type in a woman would be? I think, because I'm blonde, I think it would be brunette. Yeah. But my old, the old girls that I used to fancy before I knew what actually fancying someone was were brunette. Yeah. Um, tanned. Mm. You're just um, trying to describe Andrew, but just a woman. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> no beard, um, though. I think, like, I would pro- I would always... Oh, I'm thinking... But this is this was my gay mindset, who's your, though. I would always be like, oh, she's so... Woman? Who is my ideal woman? If you, were a non- if you were a straight male. Oh, my God, I really don't know. I feel like I'd... I feel like if I was a straight male, I would be... I'd be, like, weak to women like you are. 
So I'd need someone that's like powerful to like over like kind of one that would like put me in my place, if you get what I mean. What? How have you managed to <laughs> make that a dig at me? I was just trying. I was just intrigued as to what your type of a woman would be. I don't actually know. Um, like what? I just wanted to give a dig at you. All right, let me think. I think that it would be someone that has like a skill. Do you know like like Joe and Diane? Yeah. Like I would find something like that. Like what Diane does is so impressive that I think I would be attracted to that. So your answer is Diane is what you're trying to say. I think Diane Buswell is my final answer. <laughs> I don't know because it's so hard because I don't think about women in that way. If you, if, right, I'll flip the question on you then. If you were a gay male, what do you think your type in a man would be? Um, Like a Harry Styles type. I, I, he's that's attractive, so easy, but that's, that's an easy one, I know. Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone so could fancy Harry Styles. Someone like Chris Evans. What does Chris Evans look like? Hey, Captain America. Oh, okay. Oh, get off. Oh, fucking hell. Let's pick the most attractive people in the world. Oh, okay then, Max. My type, if I was a man, would be some little street urchin. Okay, <laughs> Max Belegdi. Is that what you hey, want me to say? Yeah! Woo! <sighs> right. I think that my type... Mm. Yeah, but Ryan Reynolds is funny, but I don't think, I don't think I'd be attracted to him. Mm. Not every straight man says Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God, that is the most, it's the most basic answer ever. Ryan Reynolds always really, because he's so funny. No, right, who do you want to put your cock in, Callum? That's yeah. what we're looking for, uh, all no, right? I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't want to insert peen into Reynolds. I just, I feel like he'd bite it off. He'd make a smart quip about how small it is and I'd be really upset. Yeah, I don't want that. But if we're talking celebrity threesomes, <clears throat> like Liza's. Mm. Mm. Oh, um, I thought it was a pig in blanket. <laughs> better one than that, Max Belegg Day and George Clark. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is there, do you think there's anyone out there that <clears throat> wants to have sex with both of us at the same time? Why do you think people watch us? <laughs> 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 We'd get more views if we uploaded these to porn. I can't, I can't think of anyone in the world who would be attracted to me and you. <laughs> I well, feel like you, it's such different I think, you could have, I think you could have just stopped at the first one. <laughs> 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 oh. Um, okay. I feel like I don't want to talk about this anymore. I can't think of who my dream woman would be. Why do I keep thinking <clears throat> of Hermione Granger from fucking which Harry uh, which Potter? which film? Obviously, one of the later. <laughs> 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 Philosopher's Stone, Hermione Granger. <laughs> oh god. I've got some questions actually. Oh okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. Number one. What do you think is the thing you're most likely to be best at in the world? Not necessarily what you are best at, okay. but what you think you have the best chance of being better than anyone in the world at. And you can't, be like, you can't think, be like, being Max Belegdi. No, what I genuinely think I could, if I like put my time into it. <laughs> like, you're making me laugh even before I even say it. Because I know it's so stupid. Hey, go on, say it. Is, oh no, is genuinely, I'm not even trying. <laughs> is competitive Pokemon. <laughs> I do. I really do. Don't competitive laugh at me. Pokemon badly. Oh my god! Like I spend so much of my time playing Pokemon and watching people play Pokemon. I think that I could be the Pokemon champion. <laughs> I really. Do you realize do. how many people are like? Yeah. Oh, There's I like a whole them. actual competitive scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, I watch I And watch you, you watch them and go, bad move, that one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Whilst I'm in the shower, I watch people play, play competitive Pokemon battling. And I am obsessed with <laughs> it. Have you got like a waterproof it. case that you stick to the wall? No, I just put it on the edge of the shower. <laughs> anyway, I am genuinely obsessed with it to the point where, George, I have a bit of a confession. So I've started doing competitive Pokemon battling online. I got <laughs> I got into the top one thousand in the world. That's impressive. Yeah, thank you. I did. On yeah. what is it? Is, uh, is the, it like on an the official switch, episode? Like in the game, like you get you get a, okay. a leaderboard every time. I was like I was like number like eight hundred or something. Nice. Yeah. Good. No, See, that's that's decent. good. Yeah, that's that's really yeah, high thank up. You. Congrats, Max. Thank you. See. And I, this is why I believe that if I really like quit everything yeah. and put all of my heart and soul into this, but the thing is the people at the very top are very like, 
this is their life. Oh yeah, no, they are. So you need to like give it your life. And I feel like I could, and I could become victorious. Yeah. What about you? I feel like it needs to be something quite niche mm. because then, because something like gaming, mm. there's a whole scene of people that their whole thing is just trying to be the best at. Mm. Um, I don't know what I'd go for. Um, having said that, I think... I thought you were going to say having sex then. I was like, I was like Come on no, now. wrong. <laughs> we're going for the upper percent. Um, <laughs> triple jump. Right, okay. The way that you were like, oh, gaming is too competitive. No, that's why, that's why, actual I, that's, why I, that's why I said having said that. Because I, don't, I can't think of anything... George... You are at such a disadvantage of that by like by like people that are just really tall are just naturally going to be better than you at that. No, but I, I. But you could try all you want. You will never beat someone that's like seven foot tall. So what's the point? Like, whereas like Pokemon, no, but I'm, well, I could. I'm, no, but what I'm. No, but. <laughs> 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 like, take this seriously, no, okay? But I, you, uh, you've uh, backed up with uh, actual real life experience there with mm. your battling. I. Uh, was Southwest triple jump champion <laughs> and I went to nationals and I the only reason I didn't perform at nationals was because I was injured if I had oh performed oh my god this is I so think, oh I, I could have gone pro no, but I injured I think, my leg I think my um, Jesus Christ I think Christ. my my score was like second or third place from the from the people that did it in nationals yeah and you didn't on the perform. day no but, no, but, if, no, but <laughs> and you didn't perform no but is in my score that I got from the previous event George let me just break this down and that was without people pushing so let I, me break this down for you this is not even sorry, me sorry I is not even fully me backed you for your I fully back Because mine is realistic. You would never be the best in the world at triple jump. I'm sorry, but that is the thing. You are that I, George That's Clark. what, in my head, I thought I would be closest to. Neither of us are sat here saying, oh, we could conceivably be the best in the world I at could, something. I could that conceivably is, be sorry, the best Max, in the world. Now I'm, conceivably now, be I'm the best my, world. now I'm taking my uh, my sugar coating hat off. Please put it You back are on. going absolutely nowhere top level of being a Pokemon trainer because you I have absolutely got no idea about I literally got to the top 800, 800 in the world. on the Nintendo you, Switch. You, Name one. One other person you with a won, Nintendo Switch. You became there Southwest the... champion. Yeah. Southwest I'm on about England. 800 in the world. Yeah. Southwest an... of England champion. How many people? We just okay. learned that. Okay. I'm so sorry. Comment down below. I am way more likely at being I, a Pokemon master is, than George is at being a world class triple jumper. I'm not arguing that fact. You literally are arguing I literally that am fact. Not, the, the fact. The fact I am arguing is that you just immediately went, no, you're not. That's rubbish. That's a stupid that idea. That is a okay, stupid idea. Let, let's think together of something that I'd be more likely at to be the best in the world at because I can't think of one and that was Smallest my best penis. that was my ass okay that, that's probably got it actually he's, he's done it straight off the bat <laughs> tightest um, asshole. <laughs> Ew, that's upsetting um, I think what you could be the best at hmm something really weird and like fidgety because you do a lot of weird fidgety things like for example on the ski trip you got this elastic band and you just kept flinging it at people. And then yeah. you have this weird thing in your head where something gets, you do something or you think of something and you do it again and again and again. So something weird like that, something that like, uh, like like Rubik's Cube solving or like fastest Lego builder. I feel I like- I reckon I could be the best footballer in the world. <laughs> 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 it would be something weird and niche in that way of like not many people would want to do it, but your like odd tick inside your head would make you do it over and over and over yeah. again until you became the best. So like pa um, something like paper airplane thrower. I feel like you could become the best paper airplane thrower. I don't back thrower. myself as a paper airplane thrower. No, didn't we do a competition once and I beat you? I swear we did. We threw a plane once. Yeah, and I think mine was better. <laughs> Loser. Maybe I'll um, become the best paper airplane thrower. Something like that, though, I see for you. Not like an actual, like... Because actual sports involve so many people and all of those people will have genetic advantages against you. I'm, v I'm very aware of this, but I feel like I'm, I'm quite athletic 
you as are a, as a build anyway. as a av- when if you look at average people you are on the athletic side if you look at people that compete globally for triple jump you are on the lower side well, yeah guaranteed you were allowed training for your pokemon thing so why am i not allowed training for my triple jump thing i'm telling you that despite how much training you could do you will never be the number one person in the world <laughs> I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm telling you that f- the same with Pokemon, but, but it's, just has, ju- I got it's just as close as we can possibly just get based, to being number based one. Based off casual training, I got to number casual 800. Casual training. <laughs> I, got to, <laughs> I got to number 800 in the world. On the Nintendo off, Switch. Can I, off you, can I point out, by the way, that's on a Nintendo Switch. Most Pokemon players aren't on a Nintendo Switch. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I just disagree. Are. Yeah, you just chat and shit. I just disagree. They absolutely are. They, in fact, they all will be on the Nintendo Switch. No, incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah, I am I am definitely right. Anyway, whereas you probably devoted so much time and practice to it, and I, yeah, you won South. I Champion. devoted about four training sessions to it. Oh, bullshit, I promise George. You, because I originally was bullshit. doing long jump. Bullshit, this is so George Clark. I don't even get hungover. I just like triple jumped once Sorry. and I became the Southwest champion. Sorry. Like, what? I, I'm just so naturally I athletic. Was, I was just, I was fully on board with you, oh. congratulating you for when he said, Good. he said, he said, oh, I was top 800 the world. I went, that's sick. Well it done. Is. I it go, is. oh, He's I right. didn't actually train that much. Oh God. Here we go. Trying to act the Billy Big Bollocks. Yep. No, Max, actually. Mm-hmm. That is fact because I was originally doing long jump and it's you not. Were tra- oh, they're so different, aren't they? Why is that? They're very different. They're not very different. They are unbelievably different. Learning how diff- to jump. They are unbelievably different. If you have, wait, if you wait, have- wait. You're telling me that in the scale of things that you can do in the world, long jump and triple jump are unbelievably different. In terms of the technique, they are very different. In terms of jumping, they are very similar. Well, in terms of the technique <laughs> between long jump and, I don't know, sewing a hat together, mm, of course, they're, that would be unbelievably yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. But, but you just but said that, the, you just said that exact, long jump and triple jump yeah, are the unbelievably exact, different. It's, yeah, but it's all, in a, uh, it's all in the sample size of how you look at it. If you look at, like, it is a, it is a different technique. That's all I'm saying. It is a different technique. Why is that? Still sorry, jumping. how am I trying to defend myself here? At no point did I, I say I'm going why you're to be to the best. Yourself. You can't really defend yourself. You actually did. The whole I literally at no point. George, said I could be the, the whole best. question was, what do you think you could be the best what do you in think the world is the thing at? you're most likely to be the best in the world what at? What the fuck else is the difference of that? Because That's the same thing. The thing. Listen, little silly boy. I'm listening, the, little the thing, jumper. The, the, the thing Carry that you're on. most likely to be best in the world at, I'm fully aware I won't be the best in the world at. But well, that's... why would you say it as the thing that you're most likely to Listen, be the best idiot. in the world at then, if you're fully aware that you oh won't? Oh my God, because I know that nothing else I would be anywhere near being the best in the world. That, that's the thing that I'm closest to. That is the wildest statement in the world, what, George. What, How do you know Callum that you're not, not the best at here, hot right? dog like, eating? No, sorry, it doesn't make sense, Callum. I'm, oh, I'm, shut them. I am Fuck making up. complete sense here. George, because you are not making complete news sense. Newsflash, Max. Not everyone in the world is always going to be the best in the world at something. But I will be. So? I will be. Okay. I you, will be. You fully, you, know you fully could be then. But the thing I'm no, most I will like, be. the thing I'm will closest be to being master. best in the world at, the thing I can think of off the top of my head was triple jump. Is that is that okay with you? No, it's are you, not. Are you going to accept that as a, no. as a thing? Comment down below, guys. Comment down below up, because I was, I was. Guys, we, comment we... a Pokemon emoji. Look, that guys, fully, exist. fully. If if you want, if you want to, if you if we're taking this to comment, who do you think is going to be the closest to being? Sure, comment a Pokemon emoji. Yeah. But I, I immediately off the bat Mm-mm. wasn't wasn't judging. We laughed because it was a funny thing. But I said, do you know what, Max? That's really good. I reckon you could get up there. <laughs> and then I said one thing, and he goes, No, no, not likely at all. And yeah. I, I I teed it up with, and I'm fully like I was I was saying the thing about all the gaming industry but I is, thought is that like a the- big. I thought the whole point of it was that you will, like, it's the most likely that you will become the best in the world at it. Yeah, off the top of my head, that's the thing that I'm the most likely to be able to do. But there are surely so many other things. Like like, what? I don't know, like flinging elastic bands, eating a certain amount of, like, hot dogs, hot dog eater competition. Oh, that's a silly thing to say. I'm not a very quick eater at all. Okay, then, slowest eater in the world. You're the best uh, at it. Well, anybody could win that one because yeah, it's just, but it's you just could, a patience well then, test. Well, then I would argue, then, that you are probably more likely to win the slowest eater in the world if anybody uh, could do it versus being the long jump not, champion not of me fucking being the a, U, uh, that's not world. not me being the slowest eater. That's me deliberately eating slowly, which I feel is different. I've never seen a slow eating competition, to be honest with you. I just think 
that I am right and you are wrong, and that is all that there is to hey, it. I have at all times I said I think you the are the very best, like no one ever. I have wants. said at all times that I think that <laughs> you are most likely to be like, out a the Pokemon two of us, champion. Out the, out the two of us, with your thing, you are closer to being the best in the world at. I am, but I just don't think that there are other things that I would be closer than that at just off the top of my head there may, there very may well be the top of your head is not thinking it through enough you need to think it through it more okay you think with all of your head and okay. just think what slowest year in the world that's not a thing that you can i feel like you sneeze measure. weird don't you sneeze weird what weirdest sneezer that's, weirdest not, that's, sneezer. that's not being best in the world or something that's a subjective measure yeah and i would subjectively say that you would be the weirdest sneezer in the world all right, then, well, subjectively, you're the ugliest person in the world. Weirdest Sneezer Award goes to... This is ridiculous. I feel I was... like that makes sense. I feel like I will be... Do you know what? I changed my 2024 project prediction. I'm going to become the Pokemon Master. How dare you? Our, our producer just sarcastically said, good luck. Right, wow. my next question. Oh, is there another question? Right, okay, I'll need to I'll need to like screenshot it then. I bet yeah, I can. I'm not giving you a grand, it's not your grand. No, yeah, yeah, I easily fine. could do that. I easily okay, could get so to Max top one hundred in the world. Have heard this off. Uh, our producer has just said, if you get top one hundred, Max, I will give you a grand. Over the Christmas hol the thing is to do it, because you have to constantly do it to like stay in the yeah. top. But over the Christmas time I will have actual time off and I will oh, spend so it's time. Like it, it, I guess it doesn't really matter because it, I was saying... Yeah, no, it's not like a tournament. It's like you constantly play <clears throat> and then it constantly updates it. It's kind of like what I imagine other games are. I don't know. But okay. yeah, that's how it works. I guess we're, uh, they, 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 this applies to both things. But if, if we got everybody in the world, force them to play Pokemon, and then everybody will force them to play Triple Jump, we would be nowhere near the best. Oh, no, of course not. That's but like of the people thought, that do that... If you were just to add yourself into the mix. Anyway, yeah. Next question. Next question. I'm ready. How many owls would you <laughs> have to see in a day until you get scared? Oh, one. Owls are well scared. No, as in you'd see one mm. and you go, it's an owl. Oh, you, like you don't, how you, 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 you think, don't see that often. You'd think there's an owl invasion yeah, and is then what you're saying. You see two and you'd be like, what the f like two owls in a day. That's crazy. I feel like by, I would by see three, up to five going, and yeah. then I'd assume it's a family. By like at three, you're like, I need to tweet this, and then four is like, this is getting weird now. Like what? Like why is there so many owls about? Five, I'm scared. I'm sleeping with an owl tonight. No, I'd say five. I'm okay because I think owl family, or I'm in a region where there's lots of owls. I mm. think if I saw twenty owls, twenty, you're 20. going as high as twenty. Yeah. When I was think... the last time you saw an owl? I don't think I've ever seen an owl. To be and honest. you're going from 24 years of experience of never seeing an owl. If you saw, <laughs> so you're saying if you saw 19 in a day, you wouldn't. You'd you'd be like, all right. Where am I though? Just here. Oh, okay. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I'd think I'm in Hogwarts. I'd think that I'm gonna. I think that an owl is gonna give me a letter that means I'm going to become a wizard. Well, why would you be scared of that? Because I would be scared of where that might take me. I don't really want to fight a basilisk. Basilisk. I don't want to. You don't do want that. to fight a uh, spell correct, aren't oh. Anyway, right. Um, next question. I I think I think that's a very interesting question. Yeah. Yeah. Thought process then. Up to five. You see one owl. What's going through your head? Oh, why is there an owl here? You don't go. Oh, that's quite cool. There's an owl. No, I think I go. Why is there an owl here? That doesn't make sense. We're in we're okay. in the city of London. So first one questioning. Second one. Second one, oh god, that owl must be looking for that other owl. That's weird. Why still are there two owls here? Still questioning. Number three, third All owl pops up. All of these up. owls must be together. Where where did they come from and why are they here? <laughs> so you're a very inquisitive soul yes. when an owl pops up. You're, yeah. At no point you go, oh, there's an owl. No. Fourth owl pops up. Fourth owl, why the fuck are there so many owls in London? Still questioning. This is really weird. Fifth owl. I am a wizard. And this is my destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. Right. That's what I think. That's how it would work. I think I'm also five owls, and then, then I, 
Like, like a different question. How many owls until you mention you saw that many owls to someone? Oh, I think I'd mention it if I saw one owl. I'd go, I just saw an owl. That's outside. true, actually. I saw an owl when I was uh, when we went to um, Soho Farmhouse. Oh, did you? And I sent a picture of it to Arthur TV because I thought oh. he'd like it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I would. I think. Oh my god, my mum has this fireplace in her house. And um, it's like this like electric fireplace, like you press a button mm. and it just turns on, it's all like glass around it. And the other day, my little sister was like, something's moving in the fireplace. And then they opened it and there was like a full load of birds that had somehow got into it. And um, there was only one that was alive and all the others were dead and they'd been like eaten oh. by that bird. Bloody hell. Yeah, just something to think about really. Watch yourself in case a bird eats you today. I feel like we've got a lot to look forward to in 2024. I, I feel do like too, Max. 2023 was great, but 2024 is going to be better. Do you know why? Like 2020 tour. <gasps> We're going on tour. Yes, we are. We've still got tickets available, I believe. Every week we keep checking and they, they're going. And yeah. it's mad to me that they just like keep going. I don't know why. I just thought that they'd be Every week they're on sale. They get sold. It is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, check if there's still um, tickets left for your city. Then go get them, baby. And if not, then loser. Um, um, thank I'm, you everyone for your support this year on the podcast we do very much appreciate we it we do we really really do mm. um, thank you all as well for supporting me in my Pokemon Mastership journey and, um, and thank guys, you guys for supporting me uh, <laughs> as I get bullied for believing anything <laughs> support George jumping near you jumping in a town near you soon um, my name is Max Balegde we're not doing this yeah There's... and i'm george clark my and... name is george clark and we love you we miss you and hopefully we'll give god, you a kiss believe... soon I can't believe we're not gonna see him until next year i know oh my god i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna have, I haven't had a shower since oh last my year god, that's crazy that's so true i've actually not that's, that's a funny joke to drop on the 31st of december <laughs> i haven't had a shower since last year <laughs> <laughs> there we go good you dirty bugger. That, that's literally a year. Yeah. <laughs> you filthy fucker. Um, love you lots. Bye. Bye.